We are very excited to present Cabbie Digital Library, a new home for all Cabbie's publishing content, allowing users to read and cross-search content across books, journals, cases and repositories on the same platform for the first time. This is just the first step on our journey. In future, the Cabbie Compendium, PlantWise Knowledge Bank and also our database products, CabAbstracts Global Health and the collections will find their way uh, to this new user-friendly platform. The structure of the site allows users to easily navigate to specific journals or book content or to search across everything from this main homepage with the search banner here on the top of every page uh, via the search icon. So to find your way around, you can also use the browse products menu that's on the top of the page. And this allows you to easily find specific products. So each product has their own landing page on the site where again, you can start a search to find content specifically within that product, but you can also see some information about, in this case, the journal, the latest content, you can sign up for your alerts, etc. So this is an article page, which is designed to give a clean reading experience for just the necessary metadata at the top here, and then immediately the full text is available. So you can have a read in here, the references are below and the related articles are displayed as well. Any additional metadata can be found in the information panel here on the right. There are also more details about the authors, it can be found over there. There's some other useful tools like the article metrics that you can have a look at and the citations. From here, you can also open the PDF for this article. So it opens up in our nice e-reader, which has some additional functionality on the side as well. From here, you can also download the PDF or the EPUB if that's available. So from any page, you can easily start a search across the entire library or in a specific product. So let's perform a search across the entire library. You can hit search and you will see your search results with this nice publication date slider, which allows you to narrow down your search results based on the date. There are different other search facets you can use on content type, title, author, keyword, topic area, etc. You'll see the search results over here. So you'll see that they're split by articles and chapters, publications and news blogs and events. So depending on what you're looking for, you can navigate between those steps. In the top right, you'll see the login option. In most cases, users will automatically be authenticated via their institution if they're an institutional IP address. So you'll see uh, in this example, I'm authenticated via the CABI IP. So it's showing up at the top of the page. So if the access setup of an institution requires a user to sign into Shiblet Open Attends, they can easily do so via the institutional access option over here. And then we have the access option page that explains the different options to the users. The personal account, which you can access via the login register option, is an additional feature that any user of the site can enable if they wish to do so. So let's have a look at what this looks like. Here is when I'm logged in. So you see it changed to displaying my name at the top. And from here, I can do various things. So I can have a look at the alerts I've signed up for. So this means that I will receive an alert every time there's a new book published or a new article. I can also have a look at my saved searches from here via the advanced search option. I can add more searches to here as well and also be notified when there are new results that meet my search criteria. There's also the option to create projects which is basically a collection of different pieces of content grouped together and you can add some comments and export that as a PDF as well. So that can be a quite useful feature too. For institutional admins who wish to manage their account on behalf of their institution, there are these additional options that become visible when you log in with the right institutional account. From here, you can uh, have a look at your access entitlements, or access your usage reports and the sushi information here as well. So the usage reports you would click, go to Admon Insights and you can download everything from there. Cabbage Library is also optimized to browse content even if you're not looking for something specific. So you can see latest content on our product landing pages, but also related content on the content pages, or you can browse a specific topic via the subject areas we cover. So you go here and you can, for example, have a look at other publications in the area of aquatic sciences. This will lead you to a search results page where you can drill down the results further if you want to, or just have a look around. If you're interested in books specifically, you can quite easily find 
the main information about the book at the top of the page here with some metadata and then the information section. The read this book button directs you directly to the full PDF, so the ebook. And further down the page, you can read the description, some further information. And when scrolling down, you will notice the table of contents. And from here, you can access any individual chapter within the book and read the full text there if available or download the PDF or EPUB. We have also updated and consolidated our information pages, which can be accessed via the hamburger menu on the left, with, for example, librarian resources here and information for authors further down. And for example, information about our accessibility statement policies there as well. This information can also be accessed via the footer at the bottom of the page.